to another lecture of our data structure playlist today we are going to learn about one new data structure that is stack so stack is a linear data structure and i have already told you what is linear and nonlinear data structure so watch my first video and you will understand it the rule of stack data structure is that insertion and deletion these two operations are possible only from one end okay so only from the top so the main rule we can write it like lifo okay last in first out okay or we can also say first in last out just the opposite so what do you mean by last in first out that means that the last element to be entered in the stack will be the first one to get out of the stack okay so let's see this with an example so first we have 10 inside our stack okay the first in is 10 and then we are entering 20 so we have now 10 and 20 in our stack so the last in element is 20 now if we want to get an element out of the stack so we uh, it is possible only from one end okay we are entering or inserting value from the top and we will have to delete the value from the top also okay so as the in insertion and deletion both possible from only one end that is from the top so the last in value that is 20 will be the first one to be out okay so 20 first out okay and the last out is after 20 that will be 10 so the first in is last out and the last in is first out the end through which insertion and deletion takes place is known as top of the stack so for here the stack top is this one because that is the topmost element in this case the stack top is this one because this is the topmost element so stack is a collection of similar data type so what are the possible operation push pop peak is empty is full push operation inserts one value inside our stack pop operations deletes one value from the top of the stack peak operation just show us what is the value in the top of the stack is empty will return uh, true if the stack is empty or if it is uh, not empty then it will return false also same that is full will return true if the stack is full so the two conditions in the stack is overflow and underflow so this full is full means the stack is full suppose the stack size is 3 here so we have 3 space if we have already three elements that is suppose we have 10 20 and 30 and we are trying to enter another big value inside our stack so when the stack is already full and we are trying to enter some more values then it, the condition is known as overflow and when the stack is already empty but we are trying to delete some values from an empty stack this is known as underflow the uh, use of stack uh, the stack is used for recursion function calls and infix to pro, uh, prefix and postfix conversions push operation so the size is user defined okay so we uh, ask the user to define the size of the stack so now the stack is implemented using an array so the indexes will be like 0 1 up to size minus 1 okay first we need to do what first we need to check that is the stack already full that is the overflow condition so how can we check so the top value which indicates the topmost element of the stack if the top value is equal to size minus 1 that is the topmost possible value of the stack okay so if the top is equal to size minus 1 okay if top is equal to size minus 1 that is top is indicating the topmost element okay that is the last element so this is known as the overflow condition so how we do that we write if top equals to equals to size minus 1 then uh, we print that it is overflow now if it is not overflow else okay so if the stack has some space to enter some value then we do what then the stack is not full so we increment the value of top by 1 that is top plus plus and now we store the element in the position being indicated by the top okay so how we do that with that stack is an array because we are implementing the stack using an array so stack of top will be assigned with the value where we will scan from the user okay so given by user so suppose uh, stack is like this and the stack has already one value 10 so and 20 suppose the stack already has two values 10 and 20 and the stack top is indicating this 
so this is zero index it is index one so stop has value one so now we, we want to insert a value so we do what we will increment the top so top plus plus will do what it will make top equals to uh, one plus one that is two so now top is now top is indicating here and we are storing we are storing stack uh, of top equals to val okay so suppose the value is given as 30 so the 30 will be now stored here that's how the push operation works now for the pop operation so first before popping we need to check that if the stack is already empty or not that is the underflow condition so check if the stack is empty so when the stack is empty when top is equals to equals to minus one or it can be less than also okay so when the top is less than or equals to minus one so that is the condition so if top less than equals to minus one then this means we uh, the stack is already empty and now if you try to delete from an empty stack it will be underflow condition so we will print and else when the stack is not already empty then we do what then we print the popped element so how we do that we just print the stack of top value okay so the pop element will be stack of top so we print the value which we are going to delete from the stack and we do what we do top minus minus that is our top is now decremented so see so suppose we have two values two and three so we print the value that is stack of top that is three which we are going to delete so we print the value that we are uh, deleting the value three now we do what so now our top was indicating this one the value of top was one now we decrement top that is top minus minus now our top is indicating this value that is zero so this means what the that our uh, value 3 is now deleted okay or we cannot access the value 3 because top is the value of our topmost element of the stack okay so now our topmost element of the stack is now 2 so this means the, now that 3 value is lost so first we need to check that the stack is empty or not okay so if the value of top is not minus 1 that is if it is greater than equal to 0 that means the stack is not empty so if the stack is not empty then we just print the stack element so how do we do that we uh, use a for loop from top to 0 okay so when our uh, i is equal to top that is the first value of our or the topmost value of our stack until when i is equal to 0 we will just decrement i by 1 and print the value of stack of i that's how we print or display the stack values else that is else part is when the else part will work when the stack is already empty that is top is equal to or less than minus one so then uh, we will print that the stack is empty now let's see the code first we have some global variable that is the stack array so the size is declared as 100 so the size we will take from user must be less than or equals to 100 and we have some other global variables that is the top size and ch that is for choice and now we will be having the function prototypes that is the functions of the stacks push pop and display so the function prototype is just the function name along with the uh, return type and inside the parameters type okay and after that we use a semicolon after every function prototype now let's see the main function in the main function we are just declaring top as minus one and we are asking from the user the size what he wants to enter now the do while loop will run every time when our choice is not equals to four only when our choice becomes equals to four then our do while loop will start looping okay so inside our do while loop we are asking the to insert his choice and the choices are push pop display and exit now we have a switch case and for every case uh, we are using the uh, defined functions which we are going to define after that so we have uh, push for case 1 pop for case 2 like that and the default case we have the wrong choice uh, print statement and now the main function is done so let's check the push function so in push function first we are checking the overflow condition that is the if top is greater than or equal to size minus one then we are printing stack is overflow uh, in the else part we are just going to insert the value by incrementing the top first we are going to ask from the user what is the uh, value he wants to enter then we are going to increment the top and we are going to assign the value given by user into stack of top 
so that is about our push function now let's check the pop function here first we are checking the underflow condition so that is if top is less than equals to minus one then the stack is already empty we cannot delete from an empty stack so it is underflow and in the else part we are just uh, printing the value which we are going to pop that is the stack of top value we are printing so after that we are just doing top minus minus okay so we are just decrementing the top by one and let's see for the display function so also in the display function we are checking that if the stack has element in it or not so if the top is greater than equal to zero that means the stack is not empty then for a non-empty stack we are just uh, using a for loop where the i is starting from the stack of top and it is going down towards the zeroth position by i minus minus and we are printing the value of stack of i for every step and in the else part we are just printing that the stack is empty so now let's run it and see the user is asked to enter a size we are entering the size as 3 now we are going to push some values into our stack so i am pushing value 10 20 and 30 after that that stack is full so if we want to enter any value again then it will show us that the stack is overflowing and now let's display the elements so see the display elements is working fine and now i am going to uh, popping every element one by one so after popping all the elements if we want to pop again then it will show underflow condition and if you press 4 the loop exited